The people wanted a sign of Jesus' authority for clearing the temple of market activities. Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up, he replied according to the Gospel of John. The Jews then said, It has taken four to six years to build this temple, and you will raise it up in three days? But, says the Gospel, he spoke of the temple of his body. If Jesus' body is a temple, a temple of God, what does this have to do with us? St. Paul has the answer. Do you not know, he says to the Corinthians, that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, and whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Society does badly need to be transformed. But St. Francis of Assisi says, Sanctify yourself, and you will sanctify society. Holiness, sanctification, in a person, means a special presence of the divine in him or her. But it's not exactly that a person achieves the presence of God, it is rather that God manages to incarnate in a person, something God always seems to be trying to do. We have to keep ourselves clean, fresh and ready for this to happen. St. Clare of Assisi says encouragingly, Go forth in peace, for you have followed the good road. Go forth without fear, for he who created you has made you holy has always protected you and loves you as a mother. Blessed be you, my God, for having created me. St. Augustine does not beat about the bush, and he gives us a message full of wonder. Let us applaud and give thanks that we have become not only Christians, but Christ himself. Do you understand, my brothers, the grace that, our, that God our head has given us? Be filled with wonder and joy. We have become veritable Christs. <laughs>